Now then, my friends, I'm at East Midlands Airport because we are heading overseas once more. That's right, you've got a week's respite from me whinging about electric cars because we're heading off to the Canary Islands. No, my friends, not Tenerife this time. Many of you out there will know me from my Tenerife videos. However, this time we're heading to a different island in Tenerife. We've been to Gran Canaria before, but we've never been to Lanzarote. I've been promising this for a while now. Now, I haven't planned anything. We're going to explore this together. We're going to take off. We're going to do all the filming of the takeoff and the landing uh, at Lanzarote. I'm told uh, to go on the right hand side of the aeroplane, so I've booked a seat because apparently you get the best view. So stay with us. We're going to get the takeoff. It is a little dark at the moment, so hopefully we'll get some sunrise above the clouds as well when we get up there. Hopefully we'll get some excellent views as well. Now I haven't planned anything when I get there. We're going to a place called, uh, now get, if I've got this wrong and I've pronounced it wrong, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comment section down below. It's Puerto del Carmen. Uh, we're going to go there, restaurants, bars, we're going to look around, we're going to see if we can find that one euro pint. I bet there won't be a one euro pint there. If you've got any suggestions though for bars and restaurants while I am there, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do my very best to go and review them. Uh, I'm sure that uh, many viewers have been there before. There is kind of two ballparks, there's the uh, Tenerife ballpark and there's the Lanzarote people and they also, they have a kind of a bit of a, uh, you know, Lanzarote's best, Tenerife's best. They all, but we, I got, I'm, I'm a little biased towards Tenerife, but I'm, a, I'm gonna be open-minded. Well, let's see if it's any better. Maybe it's just different. If you're new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications, buckle up because we're about to take off. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. I've already pre-checked in so I've got my boarding pass on my phone etc so we're going to go straight through security so I'll uh, see you at the other side come on right through security the obligatory let's see how much a bottle of Jameson is in duty free. Here we go, one litre. 22 59 for a litre. I don't think that's too bad actually, because that's a litre of it. So uh, anyway, come on, onwards. <laughs> open it is only half past four in the morning though I mean come on that is a little bit too early isn't it is it it is for me comments down below I need a coffee is open now that's not bad in there to be fair um, if you're gonna eat a lot before you get on the plane um, I used to have a priority pass I think it was um, although it does say that uh, a lot of the cards don't guarantee access to their escape lounges however not gonna go for that this morning uh, I'm pretty sure they have uh, like a proper full English breakfast in there but before I get on a plane a little bit too much for me I think I'm gonna go for a pastry and a coffee so uh, come on onwards I think 
getting back to Starbucks it is. It's too early in the morning for me this. Way too early. <laughs> Oh yeah, can I have a pano, a pano chocolate, please? And a uh, skinny latte. Just a small one, thanks. Oh, right, skinny latte and a uh, pano chocolate. Uh, £5.30. At least Dick Turpin wore a mask. fluids and some uh, food for the aircraft for the journey. WH Smith will do. Smoky bacon crisps. Who has smoky bacon crisps? Mental. Cocktail, best flavour ever, best invention, love them. There we go, love a meal deal. Don't you just love a meal deal? I'll tell you what though, I never realised when I left school that I was going to work out on a checkout can't do with them automated tills. Give people their jobs back. Don't like them. Just saying, what do you reckon? Comments down below. Come on, onwards, we're going to Lanzarote. Get in. £14.99 for the full Monty breakfast in the Castle Rock restaurant upstairs. How much? £14.99. Tell you what, let's go and have a look how busy it is. £14.99. Blimey. Imagine if you got like a family of four. That's crazy. That's absolute madness. It's like apparently a 20 to 25 minute wait to get a table uh, in there. And I thought there was a cost of living crisis. It's packed. 20 to 25 minute wait and people who had got the full English breakfast on there didn't look that great either, I have to say. So, time to board gate number one. Onwards, my friends.
we're on board. A bit of condensation on the window, hopefully that clears, otherwise we're not going to see much. I'm pretty sure it'll clear when we stop getting in the air. On behalf of Salt Watch, I'm on board the Channel 631 service down to Arecife, Zerotti. But right then, it's a couple of minutes, and uh, press down to the far end of the airfield, taking off on the westerly runway after the departure, making a left hand turn, heading down towards the south coast uh, around the uh, Bournemouth area, where we head out across uh, the uh, sea towards uh, the Channel Islands, then on towards the Brest Peninsula, just going over the far northwest of France, across the Bay of Biscay, towards the northern part of Spain, on into Portugal, then exiting over uh, the Portuguese coast and down the Atlantic, off the uh, about 300 miles off the coast of Morocco, way down to the Canaries. Uh, we're cruising finally at 37,000 feet today and uh, we've got a flight time with slightly uh, strong uh, headwinds today so we've got a flight time reasonably long for an RSEF is 4 hours and 15 minutes. I'll be flying you down to the Canary Star, I'll come back to the cruise to estimate your time and routing weather information. Very shortly, Penny is taking over doing a safety demonstration. Please do give me full attention. I've got peace and relax. Enjoy the service and we'll speak to you soon. With info on emergency doors and escape routes, oxygen masks, how to use the life jackets, brace position and more. Just approaching uh, the uh, Portuguese capital of Lisbon, which is just slightly off to the right, not see much there through the clouds, unfortunately, heading down towards the south coast uh, in around 120 miles. So we proceed over the south Portuguese coast, which is the far right off to our left, and heading down to the Atlantic all the way down to 250 miles off the coast of Morocco, and down towards the Narasifi and Lanzarote. Now we've got uh, almost 600 miles we started off with, uh, we've got uh, a little bit over 700 miles to run. And uh, currently estimated to be on the ground at a uh, time of uh, 10.55 in the morning, at the same time as the UK. Might get a few minutes uh, saved on that uh, if we can get a short car on the stand of the world into the Currently flying into the wind, they've got a quite strong wind on our nose of around uh, 65 miles per hour. We're going to go over 400 miles an hour. And the temperature outside the aircraft is a very chilly, minus 57. More importantly, the temperature on the ground in our seat at the moment is a very nice, 22 degrees Celsius. I'll come between them in the window and two, and that's what I can give you an update and estimated times, etc., for our arrival. Anytime you join us.
Oh gosh, say that was a lot less busier than Tenerife. You just put your passports in. Nobody even stamped you in. It was just straight through. Happy days, right. Gonna go to the little boys' room. Then I'm gonna sum up whether I uh, take the coach or just get in a taxi. Because I don't, I can't do the coach stuff going around every hotel. I'd rather just get in a taxi. But we'll see, we'll see. Right, we're going to take the coach because there's a massive, uh, massive queue uh, for the taxis. So uh, that's about a 15 minute <laughs> wait for the taxis. So I might as well just get the coach. Hello. Hello. Jet to holidays. Jet to holidays. Are you on coach transfer? I am, yes. Perfect. You just need to follow the right path here. Go up in the escalator and when you meet my colleagues upstairs, tell them where you're staying at, yeah? Okay, thank you. Have a lovely holiday. Thank you. Fair enough, got to follow the red path, take the elevator upstairs and find the coach. I just hope we haven't got like nine stops before we get to my hotel, but we'll give it a go. It's in with the prize. Parking bay number 17. 17. Cross and then third left. Thank you. should be a grey bus over there. A grey one, thank you. Uh, yeah, in my bag. Thank you. Thank you. Number 17, uh, and you need a face mask for the transfer. It's like going back in time, isn't it? I guess that's the rules out here. Oh man, I'm not into this. It's really hot anyway. Let's go with it. Let's get on board. just read out the hotels and I am the last hotel there's about nine of them should have took the taxi I knew it I knew it right we're off I'm not buying the logic with the mask we've all been sat on the plane with no masks now we're on here with masks where's the logic We are here, Lanzarote. Oh, I tell you, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go for a lie down. It's been a long day and it's only midday now. I was up at like half past two this morning, so uh, we're gonna have a little nap, do some editing, uh, and then we're gonna have a look around. I've got plenty to do. We're gonna walk around and get loads of videos out for you. So if you are new to the channel and you are interested in Lanzarote, or you've been to Lanzarote before, and make sure you hit that subscribe button because, as I say, lots of content coming your way, my friends. Gonna show you prices, gonna show you food, gonna show you the sights, and uh, we're gonna have a, yeah, we're gonna have a little uh, mooch around, so, and do some exploring. Anyway, thanks for uh, staying with me on the flight. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I need to get my shorts on, it's roasting. Oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> it's what the Brits do.
it is a bit dark, it's early in the morning, so hopefully we'll see the sunrise above the clouds as well, and also some great views on landing in Lanzarote. I'm off to um, a resort there called, and I keep forgetting what it's called, is it, is it Puerto de... I could, it's Puerto de... I could, do you know what? I can't remember, that's crap, isn't it? 